I've discovered a new apple tree, which is very convenient since I'm out and about and I really didn't bring enough food for my little mission to the beach. Very excited. I found two new apple trees in Big Sur this week. There's these mushrooms here that look like some kind of field mushroom. And I gotta say, I really wonder if they're edible. All right, Mark, tell me, do I eat them? When I'm at home, there's really no point in foraging greens which grow everywhere around my house because I have a garden, so uh, I don't do it. But when I'm out and about, sometimes it's easier to forage stuff than it is to like lug along a bunch of kale and Swiss chard and whatnot. So I just noticed this plantain right here. This is actually common plantain. Um, this stuff is super, super nutritious, but it's a little tough. You gotta kick it a little bit. You can eat it raw though. If you look underneath the plantain leaf, you see those ridges? Those are like super gnarly sinew. You can actually use those for stitching or cordage or whatever. If you pull those out, it's much more edible. And it looks like we got a bunch of it right here. I have learned two things today. Number one, if you're trying to get water to boil at a rolling boil to sterilize it, it's pretty hard. It takes a lot of heat. At first I noticed that there was uh, like condensation forming on the pot and dripping down into the fire, which I suspect was because I used um, fresh rocks <coughs> and they were probably exuding moisture and or I was using larger pieces of wood, which I guess um, haven't had as much time to dry out from the rain. So when I started using like small twigs and just constantly feeding them into the fire, I got it to boil pretty quick because um, I guess they dry out faster and uh, they're further from the ground too. Look at all these mussels and uh, gooseneck barnacles I found. See? I wouldn't have known this was edible, but now I know this is good. And now, for the secret ingredient. Two packets of McDonald's hot Conte sauce, which were found on the side of the road. The only thing in here that wasn't forged today was the rice. Now. How is it? That really is amazingly delicious. The only thing is I'm detecting some serious like sand or grit. Alright, so I've been cruising around and I didn't bring very much food so I'm eating these limpets. You just pull all the guts out. And there you go. Whoops. It was uh, actually not very tough at all. Salty and slight crunch. Next on the list is this. This is a sea urchin. If you've ever had Japanese food and tried uni, you've had a sea urchin, a raw one. Why go spend good money to eat Japanese food? I mean, you can just go to the beach and have it for free. I'm kind of beside myself. I just caught a fish, and I caught it in like five minutes, and there's tons of surf, and I was just fishing in this little hole. I'm pretty blown away, oh my god. I don't even know what to do with myself. The only bad part is that in my, dis like, in my distraught that I thought it was gonna get away and trying to get it up on the cliffs, I accidentally threw my fishing reel off the edge, but it's still attached to the line. Maybe I can get it back. I have retrieved the reel. I did have to get naked and get uh, armpit deep in the ocean in pounding surf to do it. Oh yeah, fish, I'm so excited. So I've been filming a lot of this footage for Zap with this GoPro and I believe I've just dispelled the myth that GoPros are pretty much indestructible. Um, I set this doing a time lapse on top of a, a big cliff and it fell about 300 feet and obviously vaporized when it hit the rocks.
The last lane cloud that I had, if you remember, I wrapped in a taro leaf. So this time I thought I'd wrap it in a banana leaf and see if it's any better. I think it's safe to say the taro leaf is easier to wrap. When I cooked with the taro, it just like glued itself on the fish, which has this kind of gross spinachy flavor. The banana peel just cooked and it steamed the fish and kept it really moist, but then it came off really easy. I did impart it with a kind of smoky flavor as the banana peel burned. Mm -hmm. 